welcome back to DVC Weekly. This is episode 81. And my name is Jason Erpeling. I'm the broker of Buy and Sell DVC. I'm here with Scott Ferrioli. I'm the owner of DVC-Rental.com and BuyAndSellDVC.com. Uh, today is August 24th, 2022. Uh, your 11 month window is gonna be July 24th, 2023. And the 7th month window is March 24th, uh, 2023. As always, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and we do have a Facebook group. I mean, we're uh, have I covered everything, I think. Yeah, I think so. Again, the Facebook group is uh, Disney Vacation Club Resales DVC. So just all the, the keywords are in there, Disney Vacation Club Resales DVC. And we're gonna start with a buy and sell DVC side of things. I just want to mention a few things. Number one is if you want to list your property with us, we do have an open listing. It's not an exclusive listing. It's an open listing. Um, and then the other thing is, is that there's no set time that you have to list your property for. So, you know, you don't have to say, you know, list it for 90 days or anything like that. Uh, you know, cause some people, you know, I mean, it happened more during, uh, you know, 2020, you know, where people were, there was different situations going on. They would list their property, a buyer hadn't been found. And then like, like, okay, we had a seller that had lost their job, but then they quickly found a new job. So then they took the property off the market. So, uh, you know, if something changes and you want to take your property off the market, as long as a buyer hasn't been found, um, you know, you can take your property off the market. And again, we don't have a certain amount of time that you have to list the property for. And really, I, you know, I don't mean to, you know, like I try to look at everything, you know, all around. So let's say, I, I guess, I guess I'm saying is, let's say you you want to list my house for sale, right? Okay. And you say that I have to list it for 90 days. Okay. So, Let's say after two weeks, something changes and I no longer want to list my house for sale. I guess I don't, you know, like if so, if you say that, you know, you, you know, you can't take it off the market. Well, I mean, I, I feel like I could just call you up and let's say and then list it for, you know, three million dollars higher than what it's listed for. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I guess what I'm trying to say is like, we're, I mean, we're we're here to help you. You need to be helped. You have a property that you want to sell. We're going to help you sell it. Something changes. You need to keep it. You know, we don't have language uh, that's going to force you to sell the property. Yeah, you're not locked into anything. Yeah. You know, you, you don't know what's a penalty or anything like that. It's just it. it's 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 open. If something happens and changes, you know, as long as we haven't already sold the contract, you know, just call Jason. Let us know. Not it's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, because like another company, will, you know, or uh, a seller the other day said, you know, I just spoke to another company. They said it had to list for ninety days, and I said, well. <laughs> Again, that's I use the same scenario. I'm like, so I mean, let's say you list it with them, and something happens, and you no longer want to list it at all. I was wondering why you were mentioning this. And, I, mean, and I, I, I know this story. So. And, I, and I and I said to them, I'm like, okay, so let's say you have your property listed at market value, you no longer want to sell the property, but they say you have to list it for this amount of time. I'm like, why can't you just call them up and say, okay, list my property for four hundred and fifty dollars a point? Yeah, something ridiculous. Yeah. That you know it's not to sell or. Or heck, if it does sell, take the 450 Yeah, I mean, like, you know what I mean? It's like, it just seems, it seems silly to me. Like, I don't, yeah. I mean, I feel like there's all sorts of ways around it, you know? So, you know, it's it's like, uh, you know, what's the movie with Jerry Maguire? Help me help you, you know? We're just trying to help you sell your property. Like, you know, it's a team uh, when it comes to selling your property. We're not, we're working with you, not against you. So that's... That sounds silly. It makes no sense to do that. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, because, and, you know, so, so I just wanted to let you know it, you know, we're here to definitely help you sell your property and uh, we'll be happy to get it sold for you. Any questions, you can always reach out to me, Jason at buy and sell DVC.com. Again, the website is buy and sell uh, DVC.com. And now we're moving on to the uh, food review of the week. Before we hit the food review, I'm going to throw out the phone number of the company as well. 407, uh, four, oh my gosh, 407-906-3789. 407-906-3789. There's a lot of things to remember this week. The Facebook group name, the phone number. I started, I started giving the phone number for the other company for DVC Rentals. So sorry about that. 
Yep. So, yep. Let's go to food review. Food review. Ty, roll the credits. Come here. I'm going to eat you. Get in my belly. So, last week's food review, we went back to Disney World because we had so much Disneyland stuff to do. I'm back at Disneyland because there's just too many different foods that we tried. But to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to do a twofer on this one. So this one was at um, Jack Brennan's Jazz Kitchen, which is in downtown Disney at Disneyland. Jazz, yeah, we said Jack Brennan's Jazz Kitchen. Ralph Brennan's. I keep wrote Jack. Oh, well, Ralph Brennan's Jazz kiz, Kitchen. I wrote, I was thinking Jack Lindsay's Hangar Bar, which is at Disney Springs. So I don't know why I wrote that. But anyway, so a few... We went with, the, as you know, we went with... One of our producers, one of our got microphones sitting there going... <laughs> It's Ralph, jerk. Ralph, you're <laughs> screwing it up, Scott. So, not a big deal. Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen. Uh, we went with a couple different groups, as you probably are aware, and all of us picked like different restaurants that we wanted to go to. And somebody, one of the, uh, Chris Malik, who you know, picked Ralph Brennan's. And this was the one that brought a little bit of hesitation because it's a Cajun style restaurant. So, it's going to be, it's going to have some spice and some different flavors that not everybody was accustomed to. But it was a very cool restaurant, fun inside, bathrooms were like bayou themed, so it was like alligators and like all different, like, like you're in a swamp in the bathroom. So really, really just, it was like a fun restaurant. So again, I'm doing two on this one. I, so uh, uh, before I go on about this, what was really cool about, be cool about them is that we asked them, you know, we're a little concerned about the spice and the heat, and they said that essentially the, the whole menu besides three items, don't ask me which three items, can be modified to take the spice out of it. So like, oh, that, fantastic, that's wonderful. So um, I guess, I'm, I mean, not to get too deep into, so was it your concern? Your, what, uh, there's four in your family, was it all four? Well, there, there was 13 of us. Okay. And I know my wife does not like a lot of spice and heat. Uh, we know that the Murrays did not like a bunch of spice and heat. My kids wouldn't have liked it either, but I think they're mostly going off, well, one was going off the kids' menu, who just, you got a really, you got a nice burger there. So that that wasn't the issue, but like for, for my wife as well, that was one of her main concerns. And they said, again, besides these three items, we could do anything without spice and heat. So very accommodating, just so you know. I had the normal, you know, spiced uh, pasta jambalaya, which is, it says, it says New Orleans favorite jazz, jazz kitchen signature dish, golf shrimp, andouille sausage, roasted chicken, Creole seasoning with a spinach fettuccine, $34.50. Um, I thought it was pretty good. I wasn't a huge, huge fan of it. It had a very thin sauce to it. Again, I think this might have been, this might be the first time I've ever had pasta jambalaya. So it's not something that's, you know, I'm too familiar with. So I can't really compare it against other jambalayas I've had in the past. Thought it, I thought it was it was pretty decent. I, I probably wouldn't order it again. Uh, spicy. It wasn't too memorable. I ate about half. I'm a big guy. I like to eat. I ate about half of it. Uh, I give it a six point two. It wasn't bad, but I just it's not half of it because it was too much or no. Oh, because the reason I ate half of it is because I was busy stealing my wife's food. Oh, I, I was pretty much done anyway. And she saw that I, I didn't really want any more of it. I think she sacrificed herself a little bit. She doesn't as much as me, but. I think she wanted hers because she had the blackened chicken mac and cheese. So it's applewood smoked bacon, caramelized onions, oven roasted tomatoes, baby arugula, penne pasta, smoked gouda cream sauce, and rosemary garlic ciabatta bread for $32. Again, th this one was done without the spice to it. This was probably the best food I've eaten anywhere in months. Absolutely fantastic. Creamy, bacon with the smoked Gouda. I mean, I, I would eat this daily if I could and I wouldn't put on 100 pounds. I give this a 9.7. Wow. I mean, this by far blows away anything I've ever rated on here. I mean, it was absolutely wonderful. So, I, again, I don't know what it would have been like with the spice, but without the spice, this dish was absolutely fantastic. I Loved it, loved it, loved it. I know my wife loved it as well. So they did a killer job on this, 9.7. Nice. And now we're on to the DVC dash rental side of things. So I, I want to add on to um, what Jason brought up a couple weeks ago with moving to Florida. 
So I, I moved to, to Windermere, Florida from New Jersey a little over six years ago. Um, we, we picked Windermere as it was known for having some of the better school districts near Disney. The, the ha- and we're right by Disney. The house is probably about a, a three minute drive to being on Disney property. Now that's not to like getting into the front gate of, 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 a, of one of the parks, but on Disney property in three minutes. Um, when we moved here, it was a very up and coming area. There was a lot of construction still being done, not as much restaurants or shopping or anything. And over the last six years, it's become a lot busier. Both Winter Garden and Windermere, which are next door to each other, it, it, they've been booming places. So they, they were not super well established and they've just been continuing to grow and grow. And with so many people coming in, there's also been a huge influx of elementary schools and middle schools and high schools that they've just like, they've added every single year, they're adding more schools on because there's so many people coming to this area. Now, I love, absolutely love the location here. Um, the prices have gone up dramatically since we bought the house. A lot of it was going up and then, you know, as the housing market has just gone up in the past two years or so, it's, it, it's spiked even more. So I don't, it, it's tougher to recommend Windermere just because it's become really, really pricey. But I mean, we really love the area and I just, I, I have a list here and I always find this amusing because there's a lot of famous people who live in Windermere and it's not my area. They're not next door to me again. They're like in, you know, a gated community five, 10 minutes away, but Shaquille O'Neal, Britney Spears, Joey Fatone, if you're for a sports guy, you know, Barry Larkin, Tiger Woods, Bubba Watson, Ken Griffey Jr., uh, I, Grant, I'm just off the top of my head, now, Grant Hill, like there's just a lot of sports people. Now you know like, Shaq sold his house, right? Shaq, yeah, Shaq sold his house. I, I think he was asking like 22 million for it. I, I think it ended up selling for like 15 or something like that. I, I, I figured one of your family members probably bought it, so I didn't. <laughs> so I don't, do you know about his house or no? Like, I, I've driven by his house many times. Okay. I, I, I saw some of the stuff like listed when it was for sale. Like he's got a big, like, you know, he's got a big pool with a big Superman logo in it. And the guy who cleans my pool said he used to clean Shaq's pool as well. He has like TVs built into the walls of the pool, inside oh, right. the pool. Like on, underwater, there's TVs built into the walls in the pool. Because he, well, the, you know, he has a Shaq. I mean, a Superman statue on his dock. I mean, when he owned the house. Yes, yes. There's a Superman statue on his dock. So my son and I, you know, we went kayaking there. And then you come around the corner in the Shaq's house. And, of course, I'm sure Shaq wasn't there. So I was like, I'm like, just get out. And so I have Climb a picture. on the statue. So, yeah, I have a picture of my son next to the statue on his Actually dock. Actually on the dock? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, you're, so, lucky. you're lucky. <laughs> Security's running out. You paddle away, son. Paddle so, away. Uh, so, yeah. And then... Um, well, so, oh, Ken Griffey Jr., um, you know, I think because the guy that installed my uh, DirecTV, uh, he said that, I think he said Ken Griffey Jr. has a 35 DirecTV boxes. You know, <laughs> like he have a box for yeah. each TV. It's 30, I'm like, 35 TVs? That seems, even though, I seems mean. like a lot. <laughs> it seems like it's too much. Like, when is... So anyway, and you got a big house, and... I didn't know Britney Spears had a... Apparently, it, that was one of those things that apparently she has one my... Pool guy apparently was, did Britney Spears' home. Oh, really? He did Joey Fatone's from, as, that's in sync. I think it's in sync. But yeah, he did Joey Fatone's and Britney Spears and Shaquille O'Neal's pool. So he, he's to tell me some stories and stuff about like their pools. Not that I want to go into it too much. I, why not? I heard Britney Spears' pool, they always had parties there. Like he'd go there and there'd just be like beer bottles floating everywhere. And it was just like a complete disgusting mess. He said Joey Fatone's pool. It's something as, as silly as this. He said he's had a leak in it for years, and they're constantly having to like refill the water and redo the salt and just stuff. He, he never wants to get it fixed. It's just it's constantly leaking. But it's the stuff you learn from pool guys. So <laughs> I know about Joey Fatone's pool and Britney Spears and Shaq's pool. So if you move down to Florida, you can learn stuff like this as well. You can be like Jason and kayak and go by Shaq's house, and you know you can you can learn about you know people stars and their <laughs> the pools that they own and the parties they have. That's a, I like that. I should have done that for my neighborhood. When, uh, well, the only person I, I mean, you remember, you know, who Mike Golick is? Yes. So he used to live in uh, Hunter's Creek and he, this is back, way back when people used to go to video stores and rent movies. He owned a video store in uh, oh, really? Hunter's Creek. Then he came out of retirement. But anyway, so, uh, I don't mean to cut you off there without no. uh, going through the, so I like these stories here. Yeah, I, I ran out of people, but it's, it's always cool to kind of hear about these people. Like, I haven't run into them yet. Like, 
apparently, again, Shaquille O'Neal moved, but apparently Shaq used to go into the, the same Chase Bank that I go to. Oh, really? I had a friend who worked there, and she said, like, he used to come in all the time and say hi to her, and he was, like, really nice guy. He seems like he's a down-to-earth guy, but, like, he used to go to the same bank literally less than a mile from my house. So I guess a couple questions. Since you've been here six years, mm -hmm. so have you noticed uh, traffic has changed a lot in the six no. years because there's more people? No? Not, it's not, a, not no, not much. Right. It has a, I haven't found that traffic's like that. Uh, you, okay. would, you would think that with all of the houses coming in, like traffic's gotten much worse, but there, there hasn't been like, there's not really a ton of traffic around here. That's amazing, man. That, that's because, I mean, in my area, the traffic just keeps getting worse. Yeah, I, it, it's odd because, I mean, you tell me stories about, you know, the traffic by you, and it, it seems like it's much worse than here. Like, there, there's not a ton of traffic around here. You know, if you go on Disney property, there, yeah, there's not, it's not always lots of traffic on Disney property either, but. Yeah, like around where I live, there's not really a lot of traffic. I'm picturing going, all the shopping places are going by. Ty lives nearby as well. Like driving to Ty's house, there's never really much traffic to get there. And then uh, when, schools are, when schools are letting out or, or they're you know starting. The, the so when you, when you first moved here, were both of your kids in elementary or one? Yes, in both were in elementary. And then did they did they stay in that same elementary or a new one kept getting built and you had to? We we got lucky. The, the year we moved in, they had just opened the. It, it's you you, you know. You, you know where I live, you know the area. Right around the corner, there's Bay Lake Elementary. And that's where they went. Um, that that um, elementary school opened in August, the year we moved in. Oh, okay. So that was a brand new elementary school. Like everybody who went there ha had never been to that school before. So that was a brand new school. Like they would have gone to the place called Sunset Park. But because they opened Bay Lake Elementary, that's where they. That's where my kids went together. So luckily, they have not really had to switch schools. Like, okay. You know, and then, like your year. one son right now in uh, one's now in middle school, and, and he can ride school. the bike. Yeah, my, my son in middle school rides 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 every day. Uh, the high school because that's probably about two miles from the house. So he rides his bike and there's bike paths and everything. And my oldest son just started high school, and so now he's actually going on the bus for the first time because we used to walk to the elementary school and then he used to ride his bike to the middle school. But now the high schools five, seven miles away, and, you know, no bike paths. It's right on the main road. So and everything's going smooth with that? Everything's going smooth so far. Yeah, it's, 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 it's early on, <laughs> but everything's going smooth with school and everything, and he's enjoying it so far. That's another nice thing about there. I mean, that's, uh, that's why I like my area. You know, kids can, you know, take the bus or walk to school, ride the bike, so that's good. So, so if, they're looking to, if they're looking to move to Windermere, Scott's the man to yeah. answer your questions. questions. Perfectly fine with me. And uh, you can live near him and do food reviews with him. Yeah, yes, yes, you can. You, you can buy me stuff and I will eat it in front of you. <laughs> I, I don't mind. I have no shame. <laughs> if you have any questions on that, go directly to Scott on uh, Windermere. I will say that the uh, the fries I had last week were from a, a friend of ours who we went there and we were in line to buy it. And she, she was really sweet and she actually bought the French fries for me and treated us for the fries. So oh, nice. Very nice. I, I'll always accept free food. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Be sure and hit the like button. Be sure and hit the subscribe button and come next, back next week. Thank you so much. And again, feel free to always write in the comments. You know, we, we love seeing your comments. So hope to see you in there. If you're already Scott's neighbor, let us know. Yeah, that, that works as well. <laughs> Thank you.